Hello and welcome to my channel. This is me and my little babe. He's nine months and we are sharing our evening routine. So this is about from half past five till bedtime and I think we finished about eight o'clock tonight, which is a, a badish, goodish night. It's an average night. <laughs> so we start off our evenings by cooking some dinner and this is my brother dropping off some food as we live next door. So he's coming over for tea tonight and he brought me the wrong things, but we start our evenings by cooking, tidying up, and then start bedtime. On an average night, bedtime starts about half past seven. We do let this slip for occasions, such as like Christmas and dinners out, because we don't live by the rules of a baby. <laughs> Although he is ever so special, we let him be involved in as much as he can. So for bedtime routine, we start by chilling out, having tea, shower, cream, nappy, pyjamas. And then we do two stories, some songs and milk. I breastfeed, so I feed him to sleep pretty much every night and have done ever since he was born. It just works best for us. He loves milk and he's just a huge milk eater. So it would be hard to transition him, wean him off that. So I don't mind doing it at the moment and he's ever so little still. So I really don't mind it. This is me uh, doing a bit of a happy dance because although I am a stay at home mom, I do nanny on the side too. And that has been my job for the past uh, like seven years. So families will just call me up and say, oh, are you free tomorrow to have my babe? And it's so convenient. So it's a little bit of extra pocket money and this is someone asking for a couple of days next week which is always nice because I'll know I'll have some money to treat little man to some bits and treat myself to bits because we all need a treat every now and then. But yeah, so we do. He comes with me nanny in and he loves watching all the other kids. It's nice because most of them are older than him. So he just is like, wow, you're walking. And it is like mind blowing to him. But yeah, so here we are having a little play about to tidy up before bedtime. Little man normally eats like the same as what we eat, but tonight we're having fajitas, so he's having something a little bit different because I don't like him to have all the like the spices and sauces and things. So he is having some chicken, some couscous, avocado, and he's not tried couscous before, but he absolutely loved it. And we do baby led weaning, so he feeds himself nearly all the time. Um, I help him with little bits, but he's so good at eating by himself, it's amazing. So we always like to try and get the house a little bit tidy before George gets home because he gets home at six, well, he finishes work at six, so he gets home about quarter past six. And I always just think, like, if you walk in and the house is it's not a good start to the evening. So I always try and get a little bit tidy. Most nights it is not, I'm not going to lie. And, like, you'll see here, I tidy up and just get toys out again because little man needs entertaining while I'm cooking. And get a few things prepped for the next day so this is me just prepping george's oats for the morning this is what he takes to work with him because he has breakfast lunch at work which is so easy because it's overnight oats and i don't have to do anything in the morning we normally well little man sleeps in until about half past seven eight o'clock in the morning so we don't we're not in a rush yet and it's lovely because i don't have to be anywhere on my non-work days i don't have to be anywhere and we just chill we just chill out so we go pick his pyjamas out and have a little play in his room before his daddy comes in, which is so much fun. He's so into everything at the moment. And he, you'll see, he just pulls, pulls my hair at the moment, which is really cute. But oh my gosh, it kills. So here is 
dinner with his little spoons. He absolutely smashed it tonight. He did so well. He always does it quite well at dinner. He loves eating. Um, but yeah, he gets really mucky. So I just strip him off, sling him in the shower. And to make it easier, one of us actually goes in the shower with him. And I just love it. It's a great routine. Um, one of us cleans up, one of us showers. Here he is all fresh in his little pyjamas. With his, his hair's grown so long, it's so spiky. Quick change for mama. And we're ready for bed. So we start out in bed with a little story. She hanged it, held and she sang. I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. <coughs> as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The baby grew and he grew and he grew. <coughs> he grew older, she got older and older and older. And one day she called her son and said, You better come and see me, I'm very old and sick. This is probably one of the saddest books I've ever read. It's about a mom singing to her, her newborn baby, and then it goes in and like next is two, and then he's nine, and then he's a bit older, and then he moves out, and she gets old, and he sings her like he takes over and sings the song to her, and then sings it to his baby, and every single time I read it, I well up because the just the thought of him growing any older just hurts my heart. I love the fact that he's growing every day and he's learning something new, but oh my gosh, my, where's my baby gone? He's now crawling, he's chatting away, and oh, he's just so big. So when he was born, I actually started to put together some songs that he really liked, um, like quiet songs, like sleepy songs, and we sing those to him every single night while he's having his milk, and it just chills him out, gets him ready for bed. And oh, did I mention he co-sleeps with us? So he sleeps in bed and we just cuddle up together pretty much all night. And it just works for us. It works best. Do what suits you. Um, but this is what works for us. So I'm just feeding him back to sleep because he woke up when I popped him down. So as you see, I'm really lying awkwardly. And he takes about five, ten minutes to fall back to sleep, like deeply enough for me to move away. This is really sped up as well, so I don't just really shake it. I just do a little little gentle shake um, and pats and he is down and I get to sneak my booby away and head off for my night which involves staying in the bedroom because he can't be left in bed alone. <laughs> But thank you for watching our bedtime routine and we'll see you in the next video.